I think we have a great residency program here at the University of North Carolina. Um, the way we have our program structured, like most programs, uh, the residents work one-on-one -on -one with faculty during two-month rotations. Um, really the focus is on education. Um, clinical education is the most important aspect of residency training and we have a lot of great faculty members with really diverse clinical and research interests to really complete that package during our residency training. I have been a radiation oncologist for over 30 years. I was working at Duke for many years. I was there for 19 years. I came here about 12 years ago to become the chair of the department. I came here for the opportunity to build a new department, expand programs, and do more to help the people of North Carolina. So about 12 years ago, I came here and I was at NC State doing a little bit of work as a consultant, traveling, and we had a project here. Um, for Dr. Marx, and he really recognized very quickly that the principles that come from, from industrial engineering, uh, human factors, ergonomics, Lean, Six Sigma, uh, some of the change management uh, are really applicable. So with his vision, uh, you know, he initiated, you know, and I got a position and allowed me kind of to build this, um, you know, build this really, this program. This is my first job at a residency, um, and I interviewed all around the country um, looking for the right fit um, in terms of being able to do this global radiation oncology work, um, and also being able to serve patients here in the U.S. And for me, like, UNC was it. The radiation oncology residency program at UNC is an exceptional program. It's a great place to train. Uh, you know, whenever you're, as a med student, when you're out there interviewing for, uh, you know, residencies, for residency positions, you know, you're, you're looking for many things, you know, fit, you know, is a fit good for you, you know, are the residents that are already there happy, uh, you know, <coughs> how's the leadership, is it, what's, how's the attending, how does the, how's the attending lead the department, are you getting enough clinical cases to see, what are the, uh, how's the physics education, the radiobiology education, uh, given at, at, in a department, uh, and I would say at UNC, we excel at all of that. We have a great chair who sets the tone, who really values education. He used to be a program director. Uh, we have a very excellent program director in Dr. Weiner. I'm really passionate about it. I really am. I, you know, when I get out there and I'm teaching, I feel like Mick Jagger, like a rock star, because it's like, it's like, I know this stuff and I'm going to entertain you with this information. Uh, so it's a little bit of edutainment. I have a lot of uh, funny stories from the good old days and uh, stuff like that. Um, because, I mean, admittedly, you know, a lot of this stuff is dry. I'm not naive. I know a lot of residents don't even like this stuff. I mean, they have to, um, they have a, a board exam that they have to pass in radiation and cancer biology. And I will tell them at the very beginning of the course, it's like, if you hate this, just tell me. If you love it, just tell me. I can gear it to whichever and everything in between. And I can say that no one at UNC has failed this exam in, I looked this up, it, it's gotta be 25 years and it might even be a little bit more than that. Yeah, there's certainly um, a lot of factors. Uh, I feel like at UNC, you know, there's, there's obviously great clinical training here too, um, um, but that can be said for many programs. So some of the things that really stuck out to me at UNC um, was the strength of the research opportunities here available to residents uh, compared to other programs. The residents all have six to 12 months of research, typically during their fourth year, um, their PGY four year of residency. And um, they have a variety of different research activities that they engage in. I think you know, one of the reasons I went into medicine in the first place is to try to do what I can to help, and once I got into medical school, you know, even in the general population, you kind of understand that the biggest, baddest thing out there is cancer. You know, it takes a lot of family members from us and friends, kind of too early in life. Uh, and so that's how I got kind of thrown down the oncology route. And as I started doing my clinical rotations, I was rotating with surgery and medical oncology, and then found out about radiation oncology as kind of this third arm. You know, I've had some lot of great mentors here from a research perspective and sort of professional perspective. Uh, Dr. Marks, Dr. Royce uh, have been two of my you know, mentors. Um, I, I've done a lot of sort of health policy work with them and Dr. Marks has been really good. He's our chairman, connected us, connected me with uh, folks across the hospital working on uh, initiatives I'm interested in. I'm very interested in value-based healthcare policy type of uh, initiatives in oncology space, but also medicine generally. And he's been really great connecting me in those spaces. The CyberKnife is an important part of the radiosurgery program at UNC. 
So the Cyberknife achieves this precision by having beams come in from all sorts of directions around the head, overlapping just on the tumor, where you get very high dose where you want it, and the dose drops off very quickly everywhere else. The Cyberknife knows where to shoot by having x-ray cameras mounted in the ceiling and detectors in the floor. So not only does it know where to aim, it can actually watch the patient during the treatment. So if the patient moves slightly, they move half a millimeter this way and rotate their head a little bit, the robot can adjust by instead of shooting from here, on a beam by beam basis, shoot from here. The result are these beautiful dose distributions that are accurate to half a millimeter or better in delivering a therapeutic dose to our target. So I actually ended up ranking UNC a lot higher than I thought I would before I you know, accepted the interview and came out and everything. I came out here for an interview and a couple of things I automatically liked about the area. Number one, I've never seen so many trees. It's so green here. It's pretty amazing actually. Um, I know it's part of like this kind of bigger Raleigh metro area, but it doesn't have that feel. It feels like, it feels like just more of a small, quaint, quiet place to live, even though it is part of a bigger metro and, and really we have access to all the big stuff, you know, airports. Uh, in any store you want, uh, uh, the, the plays, the sports teams, all of that stuff. So I actually came back for my medical school here at Chapel Hill, and it's a phenomenal medical school. And what I really loved were how closely intertwined the residency programs and the School of Medicine itself was, because we had opportunities to engage with residents throughout all of our rotations. And when it came time to pick the electives for specialties we possibly wanted to go into, the Department of Radiation Oncology was very receptive to having medical Medical students. They took a lot of time to teach and really engage with us and I think it was that opportunity to work with them one-on-one -on -one and experience what the department is about that really made me want to stay here. So the medical physics residency program it's a relatively new thing. Um, radiation oncology is I think unique among medical fields on how multidisciplinary it is. You know, my original training is as a nuclear physicist and there's not a lot of me bouncing around the hospital in say pulmonology or cardiology or anything like that. But radiation oncology, there's as many physicists as there are physicians. And that's because radiation oncology is a very technical field. Um, and as medical physics has progressed as a field, it became important to have specialized training. So alongside our four-year radiation oncology residency program, we have a two-year medical physics residency program. Uh, I came to UNC mainly because of the people and the environment. Um, I grew up in North Carolina and uh, the mission at UNC is to take great care of the people of North Carolina and that makes for a very fulfilling environment and it brings good people here because of it. Uh, well, there's a couple uh, different aspects to that. Uh, one is that uh, you know we care for the people of the state and so we see patients across the socioeconomic spectrum and we take care of patients from all walks of life whether they can afford the best medical care or not. We treat them the same regardless. I've been here for about five years and um, I think uh, one of the things that's really special about UNC is uh, the collaborative culture that they have here and I think that collaboration you see it all throughout the department. Um, the residents are collaborating with the faculty and uh, we're collaborating with investigators and in other oncology disciplines and also across the School of Medicine and the university at, at large. And I think that creates a really synergistic environment that uh, we all benefit from. Yeah, so I guess I started out my undergrad. Um, I went to Washington College in Maryland and I was a physics major there. Um, I always wanted to do something medical though, so medical physics for me was just kind of the perfect fit. Um, I went to Duke University for grad school and got my master's in medical physics and came here then. So I went to college, uh, actually pre-med, thinking I wanted to become a pediatric oncologist. Um, and once I got into the biology courses, I realized that I preferred physics and enjoyed physics a lot when I was in high school. So I made the transition over to actually biomedical engineering to combine everything. Um, and then once I got to graduate school, I was in graduate school for engineering and realized I wanted to work more with people and more hands-on in the medical field. So I reached out to my advisor in undergrad and he said, why don't you look into medical physics? It's a good combination of everything. And then uh, here I am. 